Hey everybody, it is nostalgia time once again, and in our last episode, we concluded a long mini-series of a series of Packard Bell and E-Machines OEM installs from before and after both respective companies were bought out by Acer. So, there were some Packard Bell and E-Machines installations that did not appear in the miniseries. So, now, in our first episode back from the miniseries, we're going to be taking a look at the OEM install to the Packard Bell dot SE572 RU, which which actually comes with Windows 7 Starter 32-bit, and it's in Russian. So, we can go to Add New Disk. And we'll initialize the disk in MBR. We'll use the unallocated space and we will create the MBR partition table. All right, and now we can start the restore. So we'll go to my disks, and I've already put in the Packard Bell, so we'll hit next. We're gonna recover the entire disk, all of the partitions. We're going to put it on the unallocated space on the C drive. We'll hit next. And the target disk will be the disk 1. And this is the confirmation. And away we go.
All right, so there we go. The installation is all done, and now we will set it up. So, this is pretty much just your typical Windows 7 out-of-box experience. Let me switch this to English US first. And all this because I can, why not? This is 7 Starter RTM with absolutely no service packs. And this is a home network. And now we will load into the desktop for the first time. So here we are at the desktop of this copy of Windows 7 Starter. Now this would be the first thing we would see and that is Packard Bell's registration card. We also have Adobe Photoshop Elements 8, Acrobat Reader 9, Office 2010 Starter. This is the typical Windows 7 accessories. That's the backup and restore stuff. And here are all the games it's got. These are actually very familiar games that we've seen throughout the course of that mini-series, including Zuma's Revenge, Deluxe, Virtual Villagers 4, Plants vs. Zombies, Penguins, Jewel Quest, Solitaire, Heritage, Instaquarium, Final Drive, Fate, Farm Frenzy, Doris Carnival Adventure. We were, we were going to take a look at that in one episode, but we never got to. So sure, we'll take a look at it. That's their registration card. And while that loads, it's got Silverlight, it's got Norton. That's the Packard Bell games, and this is their X-Sync tool, but... Yeah, I guess Dora was very popular at the time. And I actually heard that Dora is actually coming back as an all-new show. Which, in fact, will be animated very differently compared to the original through the late 90s and early 2000s. Anyway, there's the Skype installer. Social networks, we'll have to see what that is. Meanwhile, there's the Packard Bell X-Sync program. And considering that this is Windows 7 Starter, I assume we will not get any special screensavers or backgrounds or anything like that. So... The X-Sync, yeah, that's really what it is. It's just where you can transfer files for, from a USB and stuff like that. But let's actually verify that there are no special backgrounds or anything of such nature. So, yeah, there's my flash drive still connected to the computer. It's been connected the whole time. Let me take it out now. And I'm sure the recovery partition is already hidden from view. So we'll open up the Windows directory. So yeah, just says Packard Bell 1 with just the default wallpaper 7 starter. So nothing exciting there, assuming there is no screensavers. So anyway then, that is a look at the Packard Bell SE572RU. Officially finishing the Packard Bell E-Machines mini-series. And so, in our next episode, we are finally going to return to the Acers. And we're going to take a look at yet another Acer image that was made with the Cronus. And we'll do the same thing like we did here. But until then, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.